before flashing the firmware of the Evil Crow, I'm going to prepare the SD card. In order to prepare it, you need to download the archive from the GitHub repository. Once this is done, you need to extract the download archive into your micro SD card. And once this is done, I'm going to check your micro SD card should contain three folders config, HTML, and sub gigahertz folder. Recording and unboxing will serve no purpose, but this is where you could find the micro SD card slot. It's just located on the USB A port. I have decided to flash the Evil Crow over the web GUI rather than deploying an Arduino ID in all the package for simplicity reason. Then I connected the Evil Crow to a PC USB A port for the power. Then you need to connect to the Wi Fi network from the Evil Crow SSID. Password and IP address are detailed on the GitHub. Then I have selected and uploaded the latest firmware and then you just need to wait. Once this is done, you need to reconnect to a new SSID. Once the Evil Crow is flashed, you're going to be disconnected and it's up to you to connect to the new SSID ECRF. After flashing the firmware, you could explore all the different menus. They should all work. Navigation now is possible because the latest firmware match the configuration file on the micro SD card. If it doesn't work, check out the micro SD card and ensure you have flashed it in FAT32. It is now time for demo. I'm going to use the Evil Crow while turning on and off my remote in my kitchen and then I'm going to use Evil Crow to replay the signals that I have recorded. We have covered the process of flashing the latest firmware on Evil Crow and record and replaying signal from a 433 MHz remote control. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for new videos.